<laughs> yes, we did it. We got the dream. The debut day victory. I'm happy. The fans are happy. The players are happy. I've jumped at this moment for a very long time now. Obviously, this wasn't the route I did want to take. But it's football, and that's all that matters. We're here. I came to Nice to prove a point. And that point is being proven as of right now. There's still a lot of games to go this season. But that's not something to think about right now. It's time to go home, relax, and just celebrate what has become today. 5-1 was the victory against Clermont. A lot of people may say, it's just Clermont. They've just promoted to the League 1. But that doesn't matter to me. What matters is that we gave it our all, and it was worth it. Thinking about the next games, we do have a tough fixture list. Stadio Renes, Olympic Lyonnais, a team with great history. And obviously, the big dogs. The top of the table team every year, PSG. Starting off with a brilliant manager in Pochettino, a man I have so much respect for, a man I look up to. Then looking into the team, obviously there's a lot to say, but just the new signings is crazy. Donuro Mango, Ramos at center back, Hakimi at right back, one Adam in the midfield, <laughs> and the man, the greatest player on this earth, Leo Messi. The whole world was shocked when he moved. So was I. And now, it's my task to take him down. It's my task to have my players take him down. It's my task to bring down this reign of PSG. But anyways, I'm home now. It's time to relax, catch some Z's, and be ready for the next day. Let's see how we do. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Dre, and welcome back to episode two of the OGC News Career Mode with GTA Roleplay. So, for today's episode, right before we do start, I want to go ahead and mention, um, I know some of you guys already left some fan objectives in Discord, but I'm still looking for more, so uh, I haven't had them set up today. So by the next episode, they should be set up. So make sure to leave some fan objectives down below, as well as um, some press conference questions. I already got three for today, so uh, make sure to leave them for the next episode. Uh, as you guys know, we need three press conferences, um, questions every single episode but anyways if you guys have enjoyed the first two episodes of this series so far make sure to click that like button the subscribe button and that notification bell get notified anytime we do post but anyways let's go ahead and let's start the episode one quick thing before we start the episode as for the role plays and the gta skits um there usually will be one per episode unless there's something important there will be two maybe even three a max so for today's episode it should only be one but anyways now we can go ahead and start the episode. So quickly starting off last episode I did ask what we should do with the man Charles Deportes so Nobody really has said anything as of yet. Um, I, I was gonna wait a little bit more, but I think I should go ahead and start recording this because it takes a lot of time to record these types of videos. So as for right now, they just said to uh, put a development plan on him, but I'm actually gonna make him attacking mid for now, unless you guys do want to see him. Oh, 22 weeks. I'm just gonna keep him a center forward. So unless you guys do want to see him at a different position, I'm gonna put him as a uh, penetrator. He's gonna play cam sometimes as striker, but mostly cam because Calvin Sanks does not have a replacement. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and keep him as a center forward for now, unless you guys do have any other suggestions. As well, I did ask for some um, other transfer or targets if you guys didn't want to see some. And I did get a su suggestion from Mr. Fanta, and it was Sebastian Bornau. So, I know we just have signed a center back, but maybe sending a second one might be alright. Um, I'm going to end this episode in the um, in deadline day, so in case of any other signings, we'll go ahead and make. But I'm going to go ahead and scout him and not really transfer him until next episode if you guys do want to see him. So, if you guys do want to see... Sarah Sam brought out in the club, even as a loan if possible. Uh, make sure to leave it down below. But anyways, um, so my aim for each uh, video is to try and get three games in in each episode. Obviously, it's going to be post commentary, not live commentary. No webcam doing the gameplays. So like I said, that's why I want to move to GTA Roleplay. Just to one per episode unless something crucial happens, something very important. It will come up with a storyline. But uh, we did just have a lot of storylines in the last episode. So this one, I'm going to keep it to one, which you guys already s saw. But um. You guys will see the press conferences probably before. I'm not sure which game yet, but I'll go ahead and put it in where I think it's applicable. But anyways, um, we're just going to go ahead straight away and probably just move on to our first game. But however, I do want to show you guys, as you guys can see, the kits have worked. So you can only see the home kit because that's the selected one. But right now, before the game starts, I'll show you guys the other kits. And yeah, they look pretty beautiful, man, to be honest. Um, I did mess up on one on the away kit, on the mini kit. But like, regardless, during the game, you'll see everything perfectly. But 
yeah, the kits are pretty sick. Um, obviously, these are the real life kits that uh, I'll just see Nice will use this season. I was trying to make the stadium, but I did my research for like an hour or so and I just couldn't figure it out. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start this game. If you guys missed last episode, we did have a couple new signings for the likes of Simakan, who we signed, uh, yeah, for 12 million, and Austin Edward, who we did sign for 19 million. So yeah. Uh, we had a brilliant, brilliant start to last episode. We did pick up a win, 5-1, and we obviously we're top of the league because we we're the only uh, game that has been played. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next game and let's see if anything happens that I do need to mention. Okay, so as you can see, we do have our first game of this episode. It is against Stadio Rene. So we actually have a tough, tough fixtures here. So US are already against Olympic Lyonnais, PSG, and Stadio Rene. So it's gonna be a jam-packed episode full of tough games. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and kick off this game Let's see how the boys do. Guys, I forgot to mention, um, here are the new kits. So, as you can see the mini kit, you see that the INEOS uh, brand is not there. I forgot to add in the mini kit, but you can see right here on the side that we do have it on the kit. So, the kits are looking pretty nice. My favorite is probably the, the main one. It's because on FIFA, you can't really see the shininess of the kits. If you can, then probably one of these two would be my favorite because the gold does really work well in real life. But, uh, I would say FIFA, or at least maybe I created them wrong. But I really like this kit, especially on, on the mini kit on the image. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start this game and let's get this victory. Yes, boys, here we are at our first home game of the season. Coming off a great performance against Claremont away from home. That 5-1 victory really did help our confidence. And obviously now the fans back us as well as some of the media does back us. But there's still a long season left to go. And as you can see, looking at the main man who had an amazing, amazing performance. Also, the team had amazing performance, but Kasper Doberg, the main man to talk about, he did score a brace in his first game of the season. And now, yeah, like you said, um, they are highlighting him. But anyways, we focused, truly focused on this game. We did a lot of research, a lot of training put into this game. We want to perform in front of the fans for the first time this season. It's been a pretty boring game so far. It took us up to the 26th minute to have a chance. And obviously, Kasper Doberg does hit the post there. Unlucky to hit the post and Gomez does recover it. And he is going to clear it out. But that was our very, very first chance of the game. Hopefully uphill from here. So Rennes do come back with a counter attack and they do send a through ball to Del Castillo and here comes Camera hoping to make a good tackle and he does for the opponent outside the box. I was hoping that it wasn't a red but at the end of the day it was not a red it was just a yellow card so I had a huge sigh of release there and obviously now they do have a free kick but I'm pretty confident that our defense and our goalkeeper can go ahead and get it out. So as we wait for the free kick they're gonna go ahead and take it and it's Bourigard taking it today. I don't know how to pronounce that name but he does cross it in and it's a shot from Terry and it sadly does go in. Their first attempt of the game, their first chance of the game, it was completely my fault to go ahead and tackle camera, but a lot must be done to get better from that. We do uh, go down for the first time in our managerial career. Hopefully, we do recover from this. As Gomez picks up the ball and he clears it out, really, really boring half. There's really nothing to show uh, for it, to be honest. Um, really boring, no shots by us and no shots by them. After that one goal, we did concede, but I'm hoping we do have a better half. Like I said, it's been very, very boring. Not really too many chances created, but... Moving on to the second half, I'm feeling optimistic. Hopefully, the boys pick up the slack. Even though we've been having a bad performance so far, um, we do continue the high press as it does work out. Common sense does find Kasper Dober. And Kasper Dober, please give us that equalizer. Kasper Dober, and he does get a great finish, and it goes 1 1. We do equalize, and we're saving points as for now, but hopefully, we could turn this whole game around and pick up the three points. And as you can see, the man in form does celebrate to the camera like he does deserve it. That's his third goal of the season in only two games, as he does point to his back to make sure the fans know his name. But anyways, there's still a lot of game left to go. Hopefully, we can pick up this victory. It is the 60th minute, and as you can see, we continue to high press, and obviously, it does work out now. And now, Kamen Stang does pick up the bottom of the field. He has no options, but he does see Amini Giri. Amini Giri, who does see Kamen Stang once again. He's gonna get that through ball. It's a beautiful through ball. Kamen Stang, can he finish? Make it 2-1? And yes, he does. Into the top corner, we do go 2-1 up, and it's looking like we're getting the three points. But there's still around 30 minutes left to go, and I'm really, really hoping that we do pick up this victory. We've been working hard this whole game, pressuring, pressuring, maybe not getting the most chances, but we continue pressuring, and we do win the ball. But now, it's time to see if we do win this game. After taking that lead, I did decide to make some changes, and I think I'm bringing it on. Yes, Alton Edward on the right side, and I'm moving Calvin Stengs to the left wing, taking off Amini Guri to give Laporte another chance. So, hopefully, this team does perform as well as putting in Turan for Rosario, and hopefully, we do pick up some more goals and keep this lead. Straight away from kickoff, we're looking to put that high pressure as we have been doing the whole game. And as you can see, we get in the ball, but we lose it again. And we just continue the high pressure. And it looks like Laporte is ready to prove his chance. He gets the ball and it goes back to Dober. Dober does give it to Laporte and he's going to get a goal, isn't he? Yes, he does. Laporte straight away, only one minute playing in this game. And he does score, making it 3-1. And I believe that's his first or second goal. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But Laporte does celebrate towards the camera. 
the youngster who we don't know where to use yet, but we're playing him at camp for now. The number 20 does get a pick up a goal, make it 3-1, and it looks like the three points are secure after a brilliant performance in the second half. But there's still a lot of game left to go. Let's see if we do score some more goals. As you can see, Sadie Rene does try to push up, but again, a high pressure has been getting to them. And as Turan wins the ball, and now it's Laporte. Laporte, 1-1 against the goalkeeper. Sure, he's gonna get off the goal. He cuts inside, he has a shot. I oh, know he tries to pass it and he does lose it, and it looks like we blew this chance over here. But Cloud Murray picks up the ball. It's Austin Edward who cuts back. Austin Edward with a shot, and he gets a goal from such a weird position. Laporte does mess up, but Edward is there to fix it. And this man is also in form, along with Casper Dolberg. Two games, two goals for Austin Edward. It's gonna be very, very, very tough to choose who will start in this series. But as of right now, Casper Dolberg has been performing a little bit better because he has more goals. But like I said, Edward has been amazing signing so far in these past two games. Hopefully, he does continue to score and provide good competition for Casper Dolberg. After that brilliant Edward goal, um, there's nothing much left to say for this game. It was pretty dead other than this last shot that Rennes do get. But as you can see, the ref blows the whistle and we do pick up another victory. Six points in two games. It's really amazing. We've had such an amazing start. Our first home victory, as you can see, as Mr. Adroit walks up to the other manager and salutes him because he's a humble man. But anyways, a great performance from the boys. Great substitution appearances from Laporte and from Austin Edward. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Okay, so now, like I said, we're moving on to the next game, which is against the Big Leonets. This time, I do want to go over the lineup a just a little bit because I didn't do it last time. I actually wanted to use the away kit, but Olympic Leonese's kit is white. So we're going to go ahead and use the third kit this time just to rock all the kits that we did make. And as for the lineup, I think I'm going to keep it the same. It's been working out so far. Actually, Rosario, I mean, he's, he's not, hasn't done a bad job, but he hasn't really been effective. So it doesn't matter if I change him out. I do want to give Turam a chance. He is very young. I don't know why his sharpness is so low, but... He's very young, probably the future of OGC Nice if we do continue at OGC Nice in the next FIFA. But I'm going to go ahead and give him some game time so he can grow a little bit. Other than that, I think we're going to keep the same lineup. Laporte has been in really good form since coming on. Edward as well. They score a goal once again. So all the whole team is flowing really, really well. But anyways, let's go ahead, get into this game, and let's get this victory. <laughs> yes, boys. Feeling good after that victory at home against Stade Rene. We're going away from home to such a historic club like Olympic Leonese, having such amazing players come through the academy, such as Lacazette, um, Karim Benzema, as well as Julio Aris. But we still have a lot of games to go this season, but this is one of the tougher games we do have in our shoulders, and I'm really hoping to get this victory. The boys are back to two amazing games so far, a 5-1 and a 4-1. It's gonna be a tough, tough game away from home, but I do believe we do have what it takes to get this victory. But anyways, um, main man to watch in our team, it is um, Kasper Dolberg, obviously they're highlighting. Memphis Depay, who I did not transfer, but um, moving on to the game, let's go ahead and get this victory, boys. Early on in the game, the players are already getting impatient. We do get a foul, and they do have a free kick, but Simakan does win the ball, and can we get a goal this early on? And it's Amini Guri on the ball. Amini Guri dribbles down the middle, trying to look for some space, but nobody helps him out just yet. Amini Guri gets the ball. He does find common sense. Who does see Kasper Dobrik with the through ball? And that's the goal. Surely, Kasper Dobrik, don't let me down. Yes, he doesn't let me down. Our performances have been very well so far, and it's a great start to the game. 1-0 up in the Olympic Lyonnais Stadium and obviously our tactics seem to be working and it looks like Kasper Dober gets his fourth goal in just three games. This man is up to something else. He hasn't had the best amount of seasons beforehand but obviously he was touted to be one of the better strikers in the whole world world but he has been have a couple off seasons. He did have a good Euros and now he's looking to continue his performances and hopefully become that kid that everybody thought he would be. Moving on to the 90th minute. Guys, you're not going to believe this. Literally the most boring game I have ever played. Only that one chance the whole entire game. Not even in the second half. And I didn't even want to put anything. Just uh, We didn't make any really any substitutions. But absolutely no chances throughout the whole game. Just that one game. It was really, really tough to break through uh, Olympic Lyon. And they couldn't break through us either. But we did pick up a 1-0 no victory. And like I said, no, absolutely no highlights whatsoever. No shots. No, nothing, just absolutely nothing. But we do pick up the win, that's what's important. We pick up a 1 0 victory away from home, and obviously, Casper Dobrik does get a goal. It does say three attempts, but they were all just out of bounds and all that stuff. It wasn't even any good shots. So, yeah, like I said, absolutely no chances whatsoever. But we're going to move on to the final game of the episode, which is the most important game so far. Okay, guys, this is the most important game of the episode. The most important game of Mr. George's career so far against PSG. The top dogs of this league. Will we get this victory? Let's go ahead and find out. Do you think you can contend in the Europa League this season and reach the Champions League next season? Well, obviously we are in European football. Um, we do have the Europa League this season, and my goal is just to basically um try our best to go ahead and win it and just do the best as possible, and hopefully. If next season, it does allow us to get Champions League football. Do you think you'll be contending with the likes of PSG and Lyon for the league title, or with Strasbourg for the relegation battle? 
if I'm honest, I don't really like comparing myself to other teams. I just focus on each and every one game and try to always win every game and just put the best tactics as possible and motivate the players as much as possible. Cowboy Dobrik having a brilliant start this season. How will you rotate? You are correct by that. Dobrik has started off really, really well. But um, in my team, it's all about performance. If you perform well, you'll continue to play. Edward also scored a goal, so it's going to be very, very tough. But rotation is probably the best answer. Thank you, Mr. Dr Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm warming up, didn't you? Lil Messi is warming up at the Allianz Riera Stadium against us. Me, a new manager on his debut season, facing the greatest player on earth, the greatest player of all time. This is the biggest game that I have ever managed. This is the biggest game I have ever played if I were to play this game. However, Lionel Messi is not the only one that we should be worried about. PSG in general, we should be worried about. Before this game, I had my parents do lots and lots of research, lots of training, and hopefully this pay off. The likes of Lionel Messi, of course, Kylian Mbappe, Neymar, the list goes on. Even with Kasper Doberg being in form, this might be a little bit too much for us. But I'm staying optimistic. I believe in my players. I'm sure they believe in themselves as well. It's going to be a tough, tough game. The biggest game in my career for sure. I hope all goes well. As the ref blows the whistle. The biggest game of my career so far has just begun. I'm looking forward to see how the boys perform. I'm gonna learn a lot today, whether we lose or we win. But anyways, let's go ahead, kick off this game. Please boys, don't let me down. Only seven minutes in, and PSG already gave us a lot of struggle. As they give it to Neymar, and this is where I'm worried about. Neymar does get the ball, doing his little skill moves. It's probably gonna damage us today in the long run, but Neymar on the ball. He gets inside the box, he does his little skill moves. And as you can see, Todibo is about to tackle him. And yeah, he can't contain him. So yeah, he does tackle him and it is a free kick for PSG. And last time we conceded a free kick, we did concede a goal. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. Hopefully our defense is stacked and our goalkeeper is ready for the shot. So Messi is going to take the free kick. So it's already going to be dangerous. I'm pretty sure he's not going to take a shot. But Messi on the ball, probably looking for that cross. Messi gets a cross in. Who does find Kylian Mbappe and no, guys. We concede against PSG. We were supposed to have a good start, and it's not the good start that we wanted. Kylian Mbappe, one of the best players in the world, links up with Messi with probably the most dangerous attack in the whole wide world, and this is what I knew was going to happen. Some part inside of me, as optimistic as I was, I knew we were going to concede early. But it's only 10 minutes in. There's still a lot of game to go. Hopefully, we do turn this around. Please, don't let us, our first loss be like this. But the boys are not ready just yet to lose their first game of the season. Atal does find Clover and Clover is running down the wing. Hopefully he can do some little skills Neymar has done in the other side of the pitch. Now it's Clover. Clover is still on the ball. He's trying to find someone. He does see Calvin Stanks, but he doesn't really see to him just yet. He does find Yusuf Atal. Yusuf Atal on the ball looking for a cross. But no, he gives it Calvin Stanks. Calvin Stanks lets it run. Calvin Stanks, he's going to go for the shot, isn't he? Calvin Stanks with the shot. And it's easy, easy save for Kaylor Navas. And here we come once again trying to look for that goal to equalize the game. Clover does pass to Kasper Dober. Dober does find Clover once again. Clover does see good beauty. It should be our chance. Beauty. And he does get a goal, but it is offside. Unlucky. Heartbreaking for Clover and Beauty. Clover was the one that was offside, but we move on, boys. We're really dominating this game so far. As we Clover does pick up the ball again. Clover, who does see Casper Dober? Dober on the ball. Dober to have a shot. And it's another great save by Killer Navas. Denied once again to get that equalizer. 40 minutes in, and these boys are relentless. They continue to attack. We're dominating this game, and it's Kasper Dobrik on the ball. Kasper Dobrik, who is he going to find? It's Kasper Dobrik. Who does find Amina Guri? Amina Guri, this time gets a goal. Amina yes, he does, but again, it's offside. I'm looking for Amina Guri, who gets two goals that are offside, and who knows if it was even offside, but it's a very questionable decision, but we have to move on from it. We can't dwell on this too much. But anyways, it's about to be half time. Hopefully, in the second half, we do perform a little bit better. One more attack before halftime. Can we get the equalizer? It's into Kasper Dobrik. Dobrik with a shot. And it's another great save by Killer Navas. I think regardless, he was offside once again. This team just lives offside. But moving on to the second half, I'm hoping we do pick up the performances. We've been performing pretty well. We just can't finish through the Killer Navas' amazing saves and amazing defending by PSG. But anyways, moving on to the second half. Hopefully, we do pick up and get some goals. PSG haven't done too much, but they finally pick up the ball and listen to have a counter-attack. And that was Marco Verratti on the ball. Hopefully we can defend this pretty well. Our defense has done us very good this season, but Kylian Mbappe has the ball now. And Kylian Mbappe is a danger man. He gives it to Marco Verratti into Neymar. And when you give Neymar the ball in front of the goal, there's no way he's going to miss. This man is an amazing talent. 
arguably maybe the third or fourth best player in the world as he dances as PSG do take the 2-0 lead and it's really heartbreaking to see and disappointing to see because we have been dominating this whole game but due to Kater Navis spectacular saves and us unlucky to not finish and our offside goals we're now losing 2-0 and it's gonna be even harder to make a comeback but hopefully we still have time and hopefully we do make a comeback. Kylian Mbappe on the ball but as you can see Toribo makes a great tackle and now it's Yusuf Atal. Yusuf Atal finds the catch with Oberks. Thanks. It's Omini Guri. Please finish this. Omini Guri with a shot. Kylian Navis once again denying us keeping us at bay. We can't even get a goal past this guy. He's been such an amazing form in this game but there's still about 25 minutes left to go. Please boys. Let's get a goal. Something isn't working out here today, so I decided to make some substitutions. Clover coming off for Austin Edward, and I think Austin Edward can make change, maybe change this game, but let's see what does happen once he does come on. With two minutes left to go, it's looking like we pick up our first loss. It's going to be tough, man. The mentality is hurt after such a great start. The first one is always a pain. Tori Bo makes a great tackle, but it's not enough. The game finishes 2-0 at home to PSG, and something that I did expect, to be honest. I was trying my best to stay optimistic. Trying to stay positive as we shake my idol's hand, but it wasn't enough today, boys. Hopefully, we pick this up. As you guys can see, it's heartbreaking scenes right here. Obviously, Mr. Drake couldn't get that victory. Undeservedly, to be honest, to lose the game, they did dominate the whole game, but PSG have too many names, too many stars that did dominate us. Well, not really dominate us, but they did beat us. They had their chances in this card. Obviously, uh, our squad finished some chances, but they were outside, and the other ones brilliant saves by Keller Navas and Sergio Ramos performing pretty well in the defense. But anyways, that was the last game of this episode. Just a little reminder that we are on deadline day, as you can see, August 31st. So make sure to leave some suggestions, suggestions down below. We do have Born now in the shortlist, and I like the kind of setting, but I don't think we have enough money. We only have 3.77 million, and maybe if I lower the wages a little bit, maybe we can get up to like 9 million. So maybe we can afford him there. If not, we could bring him in on loan or any other suggestions you guys may have. Make sure to leave them down below. As for the fixtures in the next episode, I forgot to do that. Um, we do have FC Nantes. We have Royal Antwerp in our first ever Europa League game and against Multiplayer FC. So I'm, like I said, I'm aiming for three, three games per episode, which is not too bad. But anyways, other announcements, make sure to leave some fan objectives down below. Uh, I want to have them by the next episode so I can have a goal towards. Um, also, press conference questions every episode. I already have the questions for this episode, but um, you guys already saw it, by the way. But yeah, make sure to leave your press conference questions down below and any other suggestions for this series. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to click that like button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell get notified anytime we do post. We're getting really, really close to 200 subscribers. Well, kind of close. We're like 70, no, 68 away. Uh, we're at time recording. We're at 132. Make sure to click that subscribe button if you guys are enjoying and any suggestions leave them down below as always. But anyways, make sure to do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Jordan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and chamos.